Okay, guys, here are a couple calls from just the other day. All right, on this job, Huh. Customer was saying the condenser fan motor wasn't running. And um, looks like we have us a two stage. Could be communicating. Do we have our communicating wires hooked up? No, so we have just legacy wiring. We got a regular dual capacitor. Let's check on pressures real quick. I hope that motor's not failing. Everything's nice and cold. You know what, it might be that capacitor. Check pressures real quick. That's normal, it's about 80 degrees in there. All right, let's, uh, let's stop and check that capacitor. One of these blues goes up to here. And that red right there seems to be coming from low voltage. Red and common on this transformer, which I assume is used in case we just do two wire communicating. to be a 40 and 5 Whew. nothing but that compressor was running How about the 5 nothing let me go get one all right, we have turned on the power. We're waiting for it to time out. This system, if you'll notice, does not have the red wire hooked up. It's got black for second stage cooling. Of course, your orange and common and white. It depends on 24 volts from this transformer 
to operate the system. So when you kill the power, the contactor opens up. Um, I think this may be a part of the older evolution line by Bryant. I'm not real sure. This could be set up as a purely communicating system, but it's not. They set it up with 24 volt controls. This goes to my contactor. These wires, the blue and the red. Where's my blue go to? It goes in there. I assume this is going to be for my reversing valve. I'm not too familiar with these. I don't work on them every day. But you could do just straight communicating with these or legacy wiring but the legacy wiring does not have the 24 volt red wire hot hooked up all right these are my um pressures i think i'm in first stage right now one of these has got to be for my Alright, brown and red. These two have to be for second stage. Nope. These two. Alright, those two go to my contactor, so it's going to be these two. Should be for my second stage. Blue and brown. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm looking at, but these two right here I can't read the board up there but um I'm just assuming that's what that is those two right there compressor has a regular power plug on it and then it has a solenoid plug on the side of it for second stage I just heard the air handler come on. Uh-oh, there's water down here. That's dry. Dry as can be. That's still dry. Let's <sighs> see what's going on. Let's check it outside. feel any heat coming out of that Hear the compressor. I'm 
nothing here feels cold at all. fairly new. Out here it is not. That don't mean that it's not leaking up top. See those pressures? That's mighty low light. Hmm. Ten to one we're gonna have a leak out here. Let's all right, this thing is looking like it is complete completely out of refrigerant that ain't looking good all right I'm already seeing a little bit of oil here get a light so y'all can see a little better right here That doesn't. There we go, right there. Can y'all? Can y'all hear that? Listen closely. put some pressure on it even now I'm questioning that now the system behind us they let us replace the whole thing and it's running fine but this system here we could only get approval to replace the air handler they said because there was nothing wrong with this we'll just put a R22 conversion kit on it. Here we are, a couple years later, and we're out of Freon. Sometimes you just can't tell people it's a bad idea.
don't know what's in their budget. That may have been all they could afford. All right, we're boosting this up. Open up both sides. I don't know how much pressure I have in this tank. I know we got a leak there somewhere. I could hear it, but I couldn't pinpoint it. Could it possibly be up here? Y'all see it? Right on the bottom of that capillary tube. Right here. Right there where it was rubbing. Apparently that's all the pressure I've got. Right there. I hope that right there is not leaking because I couldn't fix that. That's it right there. I hope you enjoyed these two calls that one that has a leak i did get permission to fix it and i think i'm going back wednesday so y'all stay tuned if you enjoyed these videos how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one